Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, we're just doing a little, you know, catch up with me, get ready with me. We're gonna chit chat, play with some makeup. I have some new things that got sent to me. I have some old things and it's just gonna be a mixture of both. And we're gonna create the look that you see right here. And I really like how it came out. I feel like a superhero or something. I don't even know. But yeah, as usual, throw me on in the background while you're cleaning or commuting somewhere. Do your makeup with me. It's gonna be a fun time. Before we hop into my accessories, I got this choker quite a while ago at a shop in Orlando called Prometheus Esoterica. I don't know the original brand at all, um, but that's where I got it. And this wig is from insert name here. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and play with some makeup. Hello friends, how's it going? We're gonna do some makeup. I have already primed as always, same shebang as always. I always prime before I do my brows so that it has time to sink into the skin. So brows are already done. I primed with a little bit of the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream Moisturizer. Just because weather in Florida is weird. It is like 60 in the morning and then it's like 85 in the afternoon. It's switching between like cold and dry. My skin gets all out of whack when it's like transitioning away from winter and I'm so mad because it's literally still like the middle of winter, but it does not feel like it. It feels like we're in spring already and I want my winter back. <laughs> and then I threw on the Lawless Set the Stage Primer. I've been using this the last, I wanna say month or so. I really like it. It's a good hydrating primer. Um, again, I don't know if it's my favorite primer of all time, but I'm very content using it in the meantime. So I will continue to do so. But we're gonna get into it. I have some old things, some new things. I wanna try some things out. And I just wanted to hang out, chit chat with you. Just have a good time. As always, if I forget to mention something, it'll all be in the description box. So please go check that out if you are curious about what I'm using. First things first, Urban Decay Naked Quickie Concealer. This is 20NN. I've just been doing like a little tiny dot of it under my eyes, a little bit around my nose, and then I'll just kind of spot conceal some areas that are not looking too hot. I have hormonal breakouts right now because my uterus is attacking me and that's fun. I'm just gonna blend this out and then I'll go in with my under eye brightener from Rare Beauty that I think I've decided I really love. <laughs> I know I was undecided for a while, but I think I'm at a point where I don't know if I can live without it. I love using it in conjunction with my concealer. I like using it to help highlight certain areas. It's such a beautiful product and I don't know why I was on the fence about it for so long. I guess I just didn't expect to love it. So I went into it not expecting to love it and almost stayed stubborn in that. But how are you doing? What is new? I can't believe February is already almost over. I felt like January was really long. Not in a bad way, it just, I felt like it lasted a really long time. And now February's over. <laughs> it's, it came and went so freaking fast, it's insane. And I just dragged some of this under eye brightener under the eyes. I don't know when this video is going up. It's the 23rd as I'm filming this. I think this video is going up in a couple days though. I don't think it's going out too, too far. I even like using this brightener like on just various spots on my face just to add a little extra brightness. And it's so lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy under my eyes at all. I love it. We saw the new Ant-Man recently. It was wonderful, highly recommend, especially if you're into the Marvel movies, it's so good. For contour, Milk Makeup sent me a bunch of sticks, including their new contour sticks. This one's in the shade Toasted, it's the lightest one. I love it. It's really nice and creamy. And I enjoy it a lot. I think it's so funny that like the era of contour is kind of coming back because it was bronze central for a while. And don't get me wrong, I feel like bronzer is still my number one choice, but I do enjoy switching it up from time to time, playing with different tones on the face and stuff like that. We went to Savannah recently just for the weekend and it was a lot of fun. I quite enjoyed it. It was our second time going. My vlog with that will already be up by the time this video goes up. But I'm so glad we got to go when it was chilly outside. I really want to go in the autumn one year around Halloween time, I think it would be really fun. I didn't know until recently, but apparently they go hard for St. Patrick's Day, which I had no idea. I like forget St. Patrick's Day exists, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> it like truly means nothing in my world to me. Do you do anything for St. Patrick's Day? I guess that's around the corner. I guess that's technically the next holiday. What do you do if you celebrate? I simply forget that the day even happens. <laughs> I usually forget every single year. Moving on to blush, I don't have anything new, but I'm gonna use one of my Melt Blush Lights I haven't touched in a while in the shade Lynx. 
guess I was feeling just kind of bronzy vibes today. So I'm just gonna tap a little of this across the nose. It's a really pretty shade. These might still be on sale by the time this video goes up, but recently, I mean, it might not even still be on sale as I'm speaking right now, but these were on sale at Sephora for $12 each. And so many of you messaged me that. <laughs> and I love that you know what I love. That's really sweet of you. I didn't buy any just because I have plenty of makeup right now, but I do appreciate you telling me that there's a sale on probably my favorite blush formula ever, at least cream blush formula. These are so good. I find even if I forget and set my face before doing my cream blush, like this still goes over powder really nicely. And just look how pretty that is. I love that color. I feel like this is probably my least used one. I have four shades. I, I forget about this one sometimes, but it's really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna set my under eyes. Kaleidos Matte Illuminator Powder. It's like gone. It's like really hard to get product out of this at this moment. I have to like just really swirl my brush for a while, slowly pick up some product off the edges. Things are going good with work. For those of you who don't know, I have my own salon studio. I've been in the industry since, let's see, I started cosmetology school August of 2012. I did the part-time program because I had two jobs while I was in school. It just full-time was not happening for me, unfortunately. Um, but I graduated in April of 2014, and then I started in my first salon August of 2014 because I wanted to finish out the summer working for Zane's dad at his martial arts school. I wasn't ready to abandon him just yet. Um, so yeah, I've been in the industry officially working since August of 2014. It looks like I'm piling powder on, but I'm really not. I just like barely get any at a time. Each dip is very minimal. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'll be going on nine years this August. So it's been like eight and a half now. I feel like things have been going good lately. Every so often I get, I don't wanna say in a rut, but I start to get almost complacent and I feel like I need something to change. Like, I feel like this is an industry, at least for me, where if I'm doing like the exact same routine for too long, I start to lose my mind. <laughs> so I was like, something needs to change. And for the longest time I've been, wanting to change my pricing structure to being gratuity free because I just feel like this is an artistry job, not a service job. Very much so I feel like artists should just be paid what they're worth without having to even factor in tipping. And I didn't like rely on tips in the sense that like if I didn't get tips, I can't pay my bills, but it's still just a factor in there. And I feel like tipping can also just get to you mentally. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's a whole thing. I've been debating it for a very long time. I've been conversing with other stylists and listening to podcasts and things like that and like doing a ton of research. And I finally made the switch very recently to gratuity free. All of my people have been super excited about the change as well. So everything's been going good. And I feel like I needed that little change to, I don't know brighten things up for me. Side note, if you're one of my clients watching this and this is news to you, it's just because I was gonna wait to see you in person and discuss it for your next appointment. Because if you already have an appointment, I'm just honoring my old pricing, but going forward, and I'm very excited for it. For highlight, I have a new one to test out. It's from the Creature Cosmetics Trick or Treat Collection. This is the Hack and Slash palette. They sent me a bunch of goodies recently that I'm gonna play with today. And this is one of them, this highlight palette. I'm nervous that these won't work for me though. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. They're really pretty, but I'm almost like, are these highlighters for me? Just cause they're a little darker. Like this one for sure I won't be able to use. And this green one, that's like not gonna be a highlighter for me either. It would be a really pretty eyeshadow. I'm thinking probably this bottom one. So that was the first one, Emma. I'm thinking that one might be the best. String lights would also probably work, one of these two. Uh, maybe let's try string lights actually. That one looks a little more, I don't know, maybe what I'm feeling. <laughs> We're about to find out. This is a Lethal Cosmetics 125 highlight brush. Oh, I haven't done my fake freckles yet. I need to do that. I will do that in a second. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I don't feel like that's too dark. I feel like that's really nice. Also, I ended up using Emma that first one. <laughs> I was undecided and then I decided. Okay, that's actually quite lovely. It's really hard with highlighters sometimes. You can't always tell what's gonna happen just based on a swatch because it's so different when it's dispersed on the skin. Ooh, I like that. Okay, fake freckles. I'm gonna use this Freck Noir just because my regular freck is basically gone. 
Um, this one still works for me. It's a little bit darker. I just have to blend them out a little bit quicker so that they don't sit too dark. But I like it. It's cute. I'm not going to go crazy. I mean, I say that every time, but I'm just going to do some little sporadic ones around the nose. I think that's really all I want today. I don't want anything too much, but sometimes I get carried away and do too much anyway. I always let that one sit a little bit longer. And while that sits, I'm actually gonna just take, if I can open it, <laughs> a little bit more blush on my beauty sponge and just kind of tap over everything also, just so that everything merges into the skin even more. Okay, I think I'm done freckle-fying myself and re-adding highlighter. Well, I'm liking the way my skin looks today. I think it looks nice. Um, I'm gonna spray with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip and then we'll move on to the eyes. Okay, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna do. Creature Cosmetics sent me three palettes. We have Sleepaway Camp. It is very rainbowy. We have Reanimator, which I love the color story of, other than the fact that there's a pressed glitter in here, but definitely me colors. And then the Trick or Treat palette, which I actually filmed an Instagram video slash TikTok with yesterday. So I might skip this one in this video and use the other two instead. But it's also very cute, other than the fact that there's a press glitter in here. Not my favorite. <laughs> but I'm not as annoyed about them as I used to be back in the day. So I think we're just gonna focus on the Sleepaway Camp and Reanimator palettes. But I don't know what I'm gonna do. They also sent me this gloss, the Reanimator gloss. It's in a syringe. I don't know if there's a shade on this or if it's just the Reanimator gloss. Um, but obviously it's a dark red. Probably won't wear that all day long because I am working today and that could get very messy, but I feel like I need to do something that'll match with that. Maybe we can do purples, question mark. <laughs> purples could be fun. There's multiple purples in both palettes. I don't know. Maybe purpley, no, purpley red. I feel like I've done that so much lately with Valentine's Day. Bluey purple could be cute with the red lip. But I feel like I could do that with just the Reanimator palette. Because I know I don't really want to do green. Because anytime I do red and green, everyone thinks it's Christmas. Which, fair. You know, I think what my heart is telling me is let's just use the Reanimator palette today. I'll do the Sleepaway Camp palette another time. I'll probably do Instagram videos slash TikToks with all of these palettes, by the way. And maybe I'll even use one of these highlighters like on the lid as well for some extra shimmer. I also actually have this liner from AF94. It's like a red. Maybe I can include that in the look too because that would pair with the lip nicely. Maybe I'll do that. I need to get my stuff together. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with my Sigma eyeshadow base. Just gonna slather this on and blend it out. I had pretty good luck with the Trick or Treat palette yesterday when I used it. I felt like the pigmentation was pretty good. Their shimmers aren't like insane. Like they're not crazy shifty, sparkly, wet. They look fine on the eyes, but they're not like mind blowing shimmer. So that's probably why I'll recruit my highlighter in as well to beef it up. But the mattes seemed fine. They were very pigmented. They blended nicely. I obviously love the theming of all of these. I love anything spooky. So love to see that. Okay, I think I'm ready and know what I'm doing. I want to start with Dan Kane, this blue down here. I'm going to use the Sigma E25. Ooh, that is pigmented. I'm going to knock some of that off. I'm going to pat it out in the outer corner. Just start creating some depth out here. I'm gonna use one of the purples to blend it out. But for now, I'm just going in with the blue. Oh my gosh, another exciting thing. When we were in Savannah, I love the eShaver bookseller store. It's so cute, even though I'm not the biggest reader at the moment. Um, it's just such a cute store, super old building. There's cats that live in there. It's the cutest thing ever. I love walking through it. But I bought a book, and this was just a few days ago. It's Thursday right now. This was on Saturday. I bought the book, and I'm already almost done with it. Can you believe it? What was my goal in my like New Year's goals video? I wanted to read, what, like six books this year, 10 books? I don't even think it was 10 books. It might have been like six, like a book every other month. I might actually do it because I've just finished my first one. Basically, there's like 30 pages left and I wanna go get the sequel now. It's the X-Hex. I don't remember who it's by, but I've seen it mentioned a few times from people. And it's really cute. It's just like a mystery, romance, witchy book. It's very cute and a pretty easy read so far. I wanna blend that out with Meg, that cute, cute purple. This is a Sigma E40. 
But I'm gonna go to another bookstore in town, hopefully find it in person, obviously. If not, I'll buy it online, but I wanna get the sequel. I forget what it's called, but I already want the sequel. I've already decided. I also did buy the Nightmare Before Christmas, Long Live the Pumpkin Queen book last year. And I've been reading it lightly, like very little. So I'm gonna pick that book back up when I'm done as well and finish that one. Cause it's a very easy read. I just was not giving myself time to read, but I'm already learning that I love reading. I used to love reading and I'm feeling very excited to get back into reading. So this is gonna become a book review channel now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it absolutely will not, but I'm very excited. I guess if you have good book recommendations, let me know. I like, I guess I like romance. I like fantasy stuff, like witchy things. I like vampires. I like stuff like that. I haven't really read a whole lot of horror outside of like little bits of Stephen King here and there, but I haven't even read that much of that. But in theory, I guess I like horror as well. So leave me your recommendations down below, please. Especially if they're easy reads. Don't give me things that are too intimidating because I'm just now getting back into reading. <laughs> okay, moving on. I do think I want to pop a little shimmer under the lids, so maybe this shimmer purple would be cute. I'm just grabbing any pencil brush, and I'm just gonna smudge this underneath my lower lash line. I think it's nice on the lower lash line. Again, they're not the most like overwhelming shimmers I've ever tried, but they're not ugly. <laughs> they're just a little more sheeny. They're not satin, they're more beefy than satins, but they do look nice on the lower lash line. I like the way that glimmer looks. But for the lid, I am gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer, of course, because I always use that on my lid with every shimmer ever. I'm just gonna use the Sigma E55. I'm gonna plop this across the lid. Not really doing anything cut creasy. I mean, there's really no mattes in the front of my eye. Really just plopping it around and blending it towards the mattes in the outer corner. We're gonna start with this darker shimmer blue, Cat's Dead. And I'm going to just plop this on the lid, blending in towards the blues. It's very rich. I like the richness of these shimmers. I just wish they had a little more oomph to them, but that's where my highlighter is gonna come in. Just dragging this shade, I guess kind of about halfway to two thirds across, somewhere in that zone. And I do want that to blend in with the blue, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more blue matte and just start running that right on that merger so that they flow together nicely. And then moving on to the rest of my lid, pulling out my highlighter palette. Let's use Robot, since I can't really use that one on my face. I'm just gonna use that same brush, just flipping it to the clean side. And I'm gonna start smudging this across the lid. I just want this to Really just go all over the lid, blending in towards that blue. Just to give some extra sparkle. Ooh, that's really pretty. I feel like that beefed it up nicely. And I'm just kind of smudging back and forth between both sides of the brush. Just getting a really nice merge going on between those because I want it just to flow really nicely. I'm gonna grab more of that robot shade to pop in my inner corner. I do like how shiny these highlighters are. I'm very happy about that. Oh, I just remembered I totally forgot about maybe using this red. I don't know if I wanna use the red liner anymore, just because I'm very content with what this looks like right now. So maybe I won't, because I was gonna do a little swoopy thing, but I feel like maybe that would just kind of throw it off. I'll use this at a later date. But for now, I'm going to finish up my look, throw on either just mascara or lashes, just because I'm a mascara girly now. Uh, throw on an eye pencil, this gloss, my wig, get dressed, <laughs> all that good stuff, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here's my completed look. I really like how it came out. I just went with the mascara moment today. My eye pencil is Piggy Bank from ColourPop just to go with that purple lower lash line. And then of course I have this red gloss from Creature Cosmetics on my lips. And I love the color. I think the shine is really cute. This was very awkward to apply though just because it's not like a typical wand. Like it's just on this plastic thingy. So it was really just kind of slowly spreading it around until it was just like a nice even layer. If it had been like a traditional doe foot wand kind of situation, it would have been easier, but it's fine. I like it. I think it applied nicely. Again, I don't think I'm gonna wear it all day. So I don't wanna worry about like, it's sliding all over the place throughout the day when I'm doing hair and stuff. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you like it. Let's zoom out and finish up this video. Thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you hanging out and spending time with me. I had fun playing with these products, creating this look, catching up with you guys, just 
hanging out. It was a fun time. What did you think about the products that I used today? Are you interested in any of them? Do you already have any of them? I would love to hear from you down below. If you made it to the end of this video, you know, why don't you just leave some red emojis? I feel like this red gloss is such a statement, so let's keep with that theme. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs> you're so loud, come here. If you're gonna be in here, you gotta come say hi. Oh, Kanade's here. Kanade is, oh, hello. Welcome to the show.